I'm delighted to say I'm at the Brighton Team Hotel, currently enjoying a breakfast with the Chief Executive Paul Barber. Paul, the morning of a, a massive occasion for the football club. How are you feeling? Uh, looking forward to it. It's fantastic. We've got 36,000 fans here today. Um, it's great to, to be in a, a Wembley semi-final again, and uh, this time we're hoping to go one further. I spoke to Lewis Dunk in the week. He was talking about 2019 and saying that this semi-final feels very different feels a more realistic opportunity of getting to a final. Is that how you see it as well? Well, we know it's going to be difficult. I mean, Manchester United have got a fantastic squad, great coach, great history of playing big games. So we know it's going to be difficult. But I think this season we've, we've played at a level where we've been a match for most clubs, most teams. Um, we won at Old Trafford earlier in the season with a, with a really good performance. And we know that United have improved a lot since then. But we go in with, uh, with, you know, with, with a real sense of optimism, but at the same time realism that it's going to be a really difficult game. You were just saying before we sat down that you've been at this football club for 11 years. It's been a heck of a journey. What would it mean to you on a personal level to get to an FA Cup final? It'd be very special for me personally, but I would be even more delighted for Tony Bloom and the fans because I think you know this club's been on such a long journey back to this level. Um, Tony has been a massive part of that, not just with uh, the financial support he's provided, but the, the moral support and encouragement, the leadership, the vision. And I think the fans have been incredible on that journey as well, right the way back to Hereford and when the club you know, was saved on that day with a, with a goal that kept us in the league. And, and then since then, just more and more support and filling the Amex on a week-to-week -week basis has, has given us a great platform. And talk to me about Roberto De Zerbi and, and his role in all of this. Obviously, it was not part of your planning to lose Graham Potter mid-season. Did you know just how good De Zerbi was when you hired him? Well, I think, you know, we, we keep a, a very close eye on some of the up-and-coming coaches around the world. And, and we're always looking at the, the quality of football, the way they play, um, whether they will fit the squad that we've got. And the chairman always says that this is the most important appointment that he ultimately makes, and, and he does. And I think with Roberto, he's come into the club, he's fitted in really well, he's worked really hard, he's created a great connection with the players. And as you've seen, he's a great character uh, on and off the field. And uh, from that point of view, you know, the football that we've been playing as a result of how he's built on Graham's foundation has been magnificent. It's going to be a, a terrific end to the season, isn't it? Not just in terms of the FA Cup, but you've got a lot of rearranged games in the Premier League, partly as a result of this Cup run. And you're still in contention for a, a possible Champions League place. If you look at your schedule for May, it's almost like you're going to be playing a Cup final every two or three days. How excited are you about that? <laughs> Very much so. It's, it's felt like that all season, to be honest, because I think people were surprised when we sort of went, went off as quickly and as well as we did. Um, we got ourselves into a good position early on and we've stayed there. But it's difficult. You know, this is genuinely the business end of the season. It's a, it's a cliche, but it's true. Um, we've got a lot of games in a short period of time. We've got a lot of clubs around us pushing for the same things. We know each of those games is going to be a cup final in its own respect. So we're looking forward to it. Um, we're taking a big deep breath now because we are very much into that final five or six weeks when it really matters. But whatever happens, if we can make progress on last season, it will be a good season for us. And if we can go better than that, fantastic. Can I ask you about Alexis McAllister? Because there have been one or two quotes attributed to his dad that maybe he's looking to move on this summer. What's the situation with that? Well, with Alexis, we, we, we sat down before the World Cup with, with uh, Carlos, Alexis's father and, and his agent, and agreed a new contract. And that was about making sure Alexis was as settled as possible he, as he could be before the World Cup. And afterwards, we, you know, we ensured that he got back focused on the Premier League, which to his credit, he absolutely has done um, and has performed very, very well. What the summer brings, we don't know. And um, we, we do know that our best players are going to come under a lot of scrutiny and a lot of interest. And we'll manage that as we always do, if and when it happens. Feels like we've got a big build-up now until half past four. I guess you, you, you'd like the game to be played in the next 10 minutes. What does the rest of the day look like for you? Well, we've got a fantastic uh, facility at Box Park, which is what we call our Albion headquarters for the day. We've got about 2,000 fans coming there with, with directors and sponsors and guests, a lot of ex-players, all kinds of entertainment going on. So we're looking forward to spending a bit of time there and then we'll make our way over to the stadium a couple of hours before the kickoff. Great stuff. And we look forward to joining you at Box Park. Hopefully we're going to grab a word with uh, Tony Bloom. I know he doesn't speak much in public, but it's a massive occasion for him as well. And all the best for this afternoon. Thanks very much.